Welcome back to another workout in depth commentary from the vibe room, my bedroom. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's jump right into this push workout routine. I've showed you guys my back workouts along with some triceps. And yeah, that's getting juicy. I'm starting to milk the shit out of my laps. It's getting thick. But now let's show you what like a push workout looks like. Not as intense, not as many workouts, but we're getting to the point where we're gonna start getting some juicy chest pumps again. The chest is gonna start exploding. The muscle memory is just gonna boom, blow you out of the water. So right here you can see, as you can see a very young man, handsome, got a okay fresh cut going on, bumping out some push ups. Not on his knees, we evolved. We're not on our knees anymore. We're, we're, we make the progress where we're hitting like 20, 30 push-ups a set, which is getting pretty brazy, um, if you had to ask me, from where I started. Um, I was just doing off my knees, maybe, maybe 10 push-ups with half my body weight. Now, we're talking 30 plus. We're gonna be to 50, and before we know, we're doing 100 again. Here's another angle. We just bumping them out, you know, trying to squeeze at the top when I can. Pretty much going to failure. If you watch all the way to the end, you'll see I'll just, I'll just wait until I give out. I'll just wait until I give out. Look at that. Oh. I'm like, ooh, I had to put my knee there to make sure I caught myself. Moving over to the next workout. Let's not waste any time. You know, this is pretty self-explanatory stuff. Um, I go into this workout with a really shitty camera angle. I fix it numerous times. I'm not going to lie. I got really frustrated. Low key. Damn. What I'm trying to do here, and here's a better angle, sort of, let me get another angle, here we are, is some decline presses to really work on that, that lower chest, because I feel like that's where I lost a lot of my chest size. I don't know why in my head, like that's where I felt like I didn't have that hang anymore, and I like that for some reason, it just made you look swole. So yeah, we're doing some decline on a, the sit-up thing, the sit-up machine. I was just too lazy to bring the whole decline bench press over because it's so big and awkward. I was like, let me just actually work on some core, but at the same time, bump out some uh, some decline presses. And just really just focus on the squeeze. This is super lightweight, 35 pounds. Um, just focus on the squeeze, just trying to get the, just, try, just still trying to get the blood flow. And blah, 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 blah. so I'm just going to blood in the muscle right now. Can't go too heavy. Not trying to snap the pec tendon right off the bone. Again, not trying to have surgery again, let's be honest. Like, I'm not trying to do that, but you know, it's all good. Um, second, third, third workout, we're on three. Let's go. We're putting the two dumbbells together, as you can see right here, and we're just pressing away, pressing away. Um, so I'm doing it this way, this way. I'm not flaring out my, my elbows at all, you know, keeping everything nice and tight for the safety for the safety of my tendon. And we're just getting some blood flow again, trying to get some blood flow in the upper chest. Meanwhile, you know, having her triceps do probably a good 60% of the work. Cause I'm not trying to put all the stress on the pec yet. Just trying to get some blood flow, you know, showing some love. Here's another angle. As you can see, here is some 30 pounders. Holy shit, this is getting crazy. Um, that's the heaviest I've ever been on this specific workout. So that's 60 pounds total. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get on to the fourth workout. As you can see right here, we have a close up look at um, the reverse curls with the fat grips. Just, I just kind of threw these in here. Just threw them in there. I wanted to get, um, I wanted my forearms to get pumped up. I feel like I kind of started lacking on my forearms a little bit when I stopped using my grips. And I'm referring to these grips right here, actually. Yeah. You squeeze it. You just squeeze them. I used to squeeze them all day. Look, I still do the. The black one. That one used to be impossible. My grip strength actually gotten a lot stronger. I was just, t I was using these all day long when I wasn't able to do upper body yet. So yeah. So I threw in some reverse curls because fuck it. I did a couple sets of those. Onto the fifth workout, I think we're doing some Arnold presses while standing. I'm um, just got the 20 pound dumbbells yet. Haven't really, haven't really upped the weight with this workout because it's just a really long range of motion. You know, really. It really is, you know, doing full-fledged shoulder presses is a long range of motion. So I've kind of stood pretty plateaued, I guess. Not really plateaued, but I've been taking this. I've been doing this workout really carefully for the most part. So just 20 pounds, Arnold presses, range of motions looking pretty good. Just trying to keep constant tension, trying to get some blood flow in that bitch. You know, nothing, nothing more, nothing less. Moving on to the sixth working workout. Okay, we're doing some... <laughs> Peck flies with the dumbbells and it just dude i don't know why i was recording this and it just kept going dark i was actually getting super annoyed it's just one of those annoying things about setting up a tri tripod and just letting it do all the work it just decides to focus on the light on the ceiling it's just like annoying it's like fuck you type thing fuck are you focusing on the so doing some peck flies with 20 pound dumbbells just you know focusing on that squeeze and trying to hold it there for maybe half a second second and get the blood flow. It's honestly, I really enjoyed this workout. Some here's some crappy angles, as you can see. And then, dude, final workout. We just really went back to the generic push-ups. You know, I, I'm really happy to see this young man right now, just really trying to grind his push-ups, trying to get stronger, um, trying to get back up to those, you know, 80 to 100, 
100 rep sets, man. Um, I was excited. I've been excited. It's probably the best workout I could do right now to get my get some blood in my chest. I think it is the best workout, and that's how I'm gonna start like every single one of my workouts probably. And eventually, I want to start doing them all the time, just so I can really when I'm like when I feel like I can hit them all the time, I'm just gonna start doing push ups all the time when I can. Like you know, post workout when I'm in my room on my floor uh, before I go take a shower, maybe in the morning, just pump out like 20, 25, 30, just to get you know just to have blood in the chest 24 7 365 i want to get my chest back to where it was my arms are already getting back there because it's really easy to do arms it's been easy um my shoulders still need to make a pro lot of progress i'm hitting back pretty hard but chest is the obviously the one thing that just you know flattened out like a like a like a pancake man um so i'm really trying to show a lot of love i'm gonna do push-ups as much as i can but at the same time i gotta give gotta give my chest a rest i mean it's been through a lot so when I do hit like, you know, chest days and a lot of push-ups in a day, I definitely need to give that, I definitely need those long rest periods, at least like full rotation of a day. But uh, yeah, man, that was pretty much a workout. Really, uh, it's really straightforward for push workouts. I just, you know, do a couple different angles for pressing, do some lower chest, some upper chest, do some shoulders. Got to make sure I'm working on the delts, man. You know, hitting for my, for the flat part of my chest, I guess for the the standard chest movement, I'm just doing push-ups all the time, man. I do about three, four sets. I'm trying to hit between, you know, starting with like 30 push-ups at a time now to, you know, when I'm you know, fatiguing, maybe 15 to 20. It's getting good though. I'm trying to get my range of motion, you know, to the max. I'm trying to get my, get my, get my endurance back up with my chest because it fatigues really quickly. But yeah, man, that's pretty much, that's pretty much what it is for that. So... Dab. Hey guys, so welcome back to the video. Um, yes, this is the second portion of the video, and I'm super excited to show you uh, the guys what I've been working on. This is super dope because I've never done anything like this, and I've always wanted to, and I'm really hoping you'd be as excited as I am. Can't you tell? So right now, I'm going to show you guys what is um, been behind the scenes. It's not done yet. It's not done yet. So don't, don't. Guys, relax, I know, I know, but check this out. This is what we've been working on. Oh my God, can you focus? Is this what I think it is? The arm experiment, beginner to advanced, okay? You got this cool looking picture and then we're gonna scroll down. Oh my God, Luke, it's so blurry, I can't see anything. That's right, you can't see anything, but that's because I blurred it out. I blurred it out because, well, you know what? It's top secret info. Basically, I've been working on this arm ebook or arm program, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, it's called the arm experiment. And the arm experiment, it's called the arm experiment because this is something I was running. Um, it was like all in my head and it's something that I was repeating. I was repeating every week pretty much. You guys re might remember from my videos. But this really just kind of breaks it down. It's all on paper, the reps, the sets, uh, things to keep in mind, tips. I'm not done. I'm honestly probably halfway there. I probably still, probably not even halfway there actually. I'm probably more like 35% through. I definitely want to make it really good. It's my first program I've been working on or arm ebook, whatever the fuck you guys want to call it. Whatever you kids want to call it these days. But this, I've never done anything like this and uh, I've been working on it and I'm actually enjoying it. Yes, it's called the arm experiment because it was an experiment for me. Um, when I was doing it and that's why I want to call it that and the arm experiment the actual program is an experiment as well Because I don't know how it's gonna go. I don't know if you guys or have been ever interested in me writing a program I know people have definitely asked about coaching and this and that but I've never felt I qualify to be a coach um, be Just because my nutritional Education is really just it really sucks because I never had a diet myself, but this is something that obviously I feel like I'm more qualified to do. And because I actually ran this, I was doing this in the summer, that picture that I showed you on the front cover of it is actually like probably, I, was probably, I probably did it for the most part. It varies. So this is a repeatable program. Uh, it's definitely not something you just do once, otherwise you'd just be a workout. So that's something you have to keep in mind. Be excited. It's fun. It's good. It has a lot of tips. It's good. It, it, it works from beginners and all the way up to advanced. I wouldn't say experts if that's the next level up because experts are just experts and they're just too cool. But advanced. If you're advanced like me, then we're then we're talking. Yeah, this, this is an experiment just in itself. Um, uh, I'm writing this program. I'm, I kind of want to see how it goes and see if it sells. Um, I definitely am not gonna, you know, sell the program for 20 plus bucks. I might probably between the price range of five and $10. Um, 
because I don't want to break nobody's pockets. And it's the first program I've ever written or ever came up with. This I already came up with this previously, but now I'm just putting it on paper and giving you guys all the info. <laughs> it's it's awesome. I'm loving it. So you know, comment down below if you guys think this is like a solid thumbs up idea, Luke. This is something I've been looking forward to. Comment below right now, right this second. Be like, arm program, looking forward to it. It'd be dope. So so I know. So I just like build confidence and it gives me hype to keep working on it and maybe do more in the future if it goes well. So yeah, let me know for sure. Um, just want to keep you guys in the loop and something to look forward to, something to keep in mind, something that's going to be coming out over the next few weeks after seeing this video. So keep in mind, um, I don't have a website. I don't know where I'm going to be selling it on. It might just be as basic as just an email, man, and just the payment through PayPal, and then you get, I guess you you get sent you get sent the full program. If you ever have any questions about the program, you can always just shoot me an email back, and I'll be more than happy that to help you out, you know, maybe send you a demonstration video, how to do the lifts if you're confused, this and that. So, you know, this is something new and I, I really hope you guys are, you got my back on this, you guys are riding with me, you guys think this is cool. I need to, I need you guys' opinions below. This is something I'm gonna do regardless because I'm already like, like I said, pretty good amount there. Um, but if it does shit, then I just never do it again. So, you know, you live and you learn. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, that's why I just wanted to show you guys. I'm super excited for you guys to see it when it comes out, when it's done. Let me know what you guys want to, let me go, let me know what you guys think of the idea. And if you were to, you know, maybe possibly get the program and you know in your head already that you're like, damn, I want to get that shit, Luke. Go, Luke. Let me know below. Otherwise, guys, that's going to be the video straight through. Just want to throw that. Sorry, it's not anything crazy. I'm not like, you know, doing anything nuts, but. I love you guys. Check out the link in the descriptions for more Luke. You know, Instagram, Twitch, all that good shit. Facebook. I'm on Facebook too. Um, otherwise, I'm going to shut up and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Peace. Peace.